Today I'm going to show you how to make an adapter for your DSLR camera so you can take images through your telescope. And today I'll be photographing the sun. All right, so head on over to printables and here's the adapter and I've got a link in the description below. And then uh, there are several files that you can choose from. And the one I chose is this one right here, the shorter one, the 1.25 inch telescope adapter. Now you don't need supports for this. Uh, I did put a little brim on there just to be safe, but I've also printed without the brim. And it only takes about an hour, so it's really quick. And then when it's done, just get it out and clean it all up, and then mount it directly to your camera. Brim. Okay, here are just a couple of notes on how to do this effectively. Uh, so we are going to be talking about prime focusing, and prime focusing means that we are taking out the eyepiece in the image will be focused directly onto the CCD. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to set our camera to manual. Uh, since there's no lens in the camera at all, you can't use program or aperture priority or anything like that. You just simply put it on manual and then you adjust the speed. So I would start off with about one hundredth of a second and then go up or down until the image looks clear. The images that I took today were about one eightieth of a second. Now to make it easier to focus, I would suggest using live view on the back of the camera for the sole reason that you can hit the plus button and zoom in digitally. And that way you can take a look at the edges of the sun easily and in, in full view. Or you could use the viewfinder if you can see it effectively. Now make sure you have a high quality solar filter installed and it's installed correctly. Here I've made one or you can buy one commercially. Okay. Now I like to use a solar finder and here's one that I printed out myself and with this installed on my telescope I can find the sun in like two minutes and it works the same way every time and basically it's got three parts and you're looking at the final image projection on the bottom and that's how you calibrate your telescope. It's really easy and there's a link on my site where you can print this out if you'd like. So now after you locate the image with the eyepiece, take the eyepiece out and carefully slip the camera in. To get it in focus, you'll have to bring this focus knob down just a smidge with the camera. To reduce vibrations, I would suggest using a remote shutter release like this one, or you could use a timer, but if you try and just press the button, you'll probably get a blurry image. So with just a few simple components, a good solar filter and this cheap adapter, you can view this in just a few minutes and get really good results.